Hey, I'm Tony Oakley. I'm one of the owners here along with uh, Jose Ortega Asietico, also known as Hochi. i um, going to do a video walkthrough because I know you're dropping off stuff tomorrow, but the broker's not coming until Wednesday. So this is the front closet right behind the front door. So here's front door, front closet, just doing an inventory. There's two of the chairs for the balcony. There's a metal shopping cart. Uh, you've got the uh, vacuum cleaner and a broom and also a window cleaner over here and some towels There's a grippy grabber if you need to reach things high. You've got a bucket and on the other side That's your trash can and there's extra trash bags right there um, Above the AC unit you've got some towels up there. So uh, paper towels don't miss those and I just put in a new filter for the AC I will send you, I'm going to mail you uh, 12 filters, one for each month. I'm going to order those from Amazon. So in the kitchen, let's just start right over here. On the uh, center table here, you've got a beautiful mosaic bowl in the middle. Um, you have four of these blue chairs, but one of them I noticed has a broken back. So I'm going to be ordering a fourth one. I got to find them online. Um, in this first drawer, you will see you've got your parking sticker and your parking clicker, brand new one. There, this key is the only key for a drawer in the closet. It is so you can lock things up and keep things private um, and not worry about it. But that is the only key we have. Please don't lose it. Here's the key to the apartment and the fob to the front two doors. There's an extra key to the uh, mailbox right there. And I think I have another key to the mailbox. I'll leave you that as well. Also in here, you've got all of the pamphlets for any electronics in the house, like the Bose speaker, how to reset the, uh, the front door. If you want to put in your own code there, you can do that. Next drawer, we just have some knickknacks. These are some re replacement light bulbs. And this is a, um, a little thing that does like halos and stuff all over the ceiling. That's kind of fun. In the third drawer, we just have tools and touch up stuff like paint and glue and anything. There's a toolbox in here and some painter's tape. On the other side, just have a drawer with uh, some pins. In this next drawer, we've got a cutting board, cutting board, some popcorn. Um, and then in the bottom there are assorted bags and some decorative fruit if you wanna use that. In the refrigerator, I left some things in the refrigerator. If you don't want them, just throw them away. But it's a lot of condiments that are barely used. Um, and there's a bottle of wine. Hope you enjoy it. Freezer will be left completely empty. Okay. There's some butter over here. Yay. <laughs> okay, above the refrigerator, we have a really great ice bin. If you're throwing a party and want to put bottles of champagne in ice, that's a big ice bucket right there from front gate. We've got two candle holders. You've got the four, one, two, three, three, glass uh, pictures back there. There's a glass ramekin here that we used to uh, put a piece of artwork in. You can use it for whatever you like. As we come on over, you've got the stove. There's a spice rack to the right of the stove. So you can utilize that. Um, the stove has been fully cleaned. There is a bread pan in there, a baking pan. And then down below, there is a muffin pan in that drawer. You've got your microwave over here. We're gonna start over here at the cabinets going across the top of the kitchen. This is cabinet one. Again, any of the perishables that you don't want, just throw them away. But there's some uh, thermal uh, cups and, and, and mugs and stuff so that you can take things down to the beach, keep them cold. There's some tea, some uh, peanut butter. Oh, well, you'll see. That's in that cabinet. This cabinet is empty. This is where we had uh, spices. Oh, wait, there's some toothpicks. That's cabinet number two. Cabinet number three. Boy, I hope you're gonna enjoy having some champagne. We got lots of champagne glasses here and three wine glasses right there. Got some uh, six espresso cups and saucers, a little teapot, a little coffee maker there. You've got your sugars and stuff like that. That'll get you going until you start your own. Then we go to the last cabinet. And we open that up. You've got uh, lots of martini glasses little shot glass, some red wine, large glasses on top, Pisco sour glasses, and then you've got regular uh, rocks glasses on the bottom. 
There is a decorative bowl right here on the countertop. Um, on the countertop as well, you have your microwave, you've got oil and uh, balsamic vinegar, and then you've got some cutlery right there. Also, right beside the stove, if we look in the corner, there's a corner cabinet that has a carousel inside. You'll see there's some, um, lots of plastic stuff in here. So if you need additional garbage bags or whatever, or stuff to go to the beach, that's already here. Down on the bottom, you've got some uh, filters for the coffee maker, which is down here as well. There's um, Dawn dishwashing. There's a salad spinner. And there's a colander right there. So a, a strainer, hard strainer. That's the corner cabinet. Dishwasher, voila. Et voila. Bada bing, bada boom. Um, your sink, your soap. And then we have the drawers below the sink. So right below the sink, you've got where you can put your, this is for the dishwasher. These are some disposable wipes. You can have bags. We have lunch bags, stuff like that. And then in the bottom drawer, bada bing, bada boom, you've got all of your bowls and cooking utensils and lots of frying pans and pots. And there's just a lot in here. <laughs> And then in your silverware drawer, this has all been counted out on the paperwork, but here's a video tour of it. In the second one, we have plenty of dishes. Plenty of dishes. You've got towels over here. Again, this has all been numbered on the paper. And napkins from Smith & Lewinsky. And then in the bottom drawer, you've got whatnots. You've got storage containers. You've got some uh, glass py papyrus, uh, what are they called, pyrex dishes, where you can put them in the oven. Um, you've got another cutting board, and you've got another grater right there, and you've got some more serving bowls. Okay, there we go. Don't forget that there is also storage under here. There are two cabinets, but they're empty right now, so. Okay, as we look around the room, here we go. Uh, right here, any alcohol that you want, it's yours. Feel free to drink it. <laughs> um, this is a picture I took down in Argentina, and if you look at it closely, there's a little bug right in the middle. These are two tables that sit inside each other. They're dockable tables, so if you wanted to use them, stretch them out, have a party, that type of thing. On this side of the room, we have from artist Belki Ramirez, which is a dear friend of ours. She passed uh, one of her favorite pieces of art and a console table. The um, thermostat is here, and that's pretty self-explanatory, but I can talk you through it as well. And there's your panel for all of your breakers. As we look at the living room, you'll see there are two club chairs. There's a, the, the wall-mounted uh, cabinet with some books. You've also got a Bose speaker. That's a wireless speaker and you've got your cable box and some books there. TV is in working order. There is a chrome lantern with a candle in it, which is really beautiful at night, so please utilize that. So in the living room, you can see there are six pillows on the sofa, and under the leg of this sofa, there's storage, and there's some additional blankets down here. There are two. Uh, that gray one's really, really large. It's for the king size bed. So you can definitely get warm on that. And this is a sleeper sofa. And the way you open it up is right back here on top. There's a little strap and it just rolls out and rolls forward. Okay. Oh, and this, uh, this coffee table is kind of cool because it's a pop-up coffee table. I'll show you. There we go. Et voila. <laughs> So you could use that to use that as a portable desk if you wanted to, or to have your dinner in front of the TV if you like, if you didn't want to sit at the counter. Okay, what else? Little side table right there. Ah, the balcony. On the balcony, you've got uh, the balcony furniture. Remember, there are two more chairs over in the closet. We have two chairs, a table out there. If you leave for a long time, like for several days, you're supposed to pull that in and not leave it outside. There's a remote control 
for the large window in the living room. That will bring the shade down. In the bedroom, you have another remote control that runs the shades. Now these shades are battery operated and Hochi can tell you about how to hook up the, uh, the battery pack to it. He can tell you where that is. Um, in the bedroom, you do have your router. That's where the router is right there. There is a fan that oscillates. It's the king size bed, uh, two night tables, and two urn-shaped lamps and some blue artwork from Hoji, um, ocean artwork. And then we have three glass doors. These are door panels that were actually on the closet that I'm about to show you, but you can utilize those as you wish. In the uh, laundry room here, you've got your iron and ironing board, lots of hangers, some towels. You've got another flat sheet and two blue pillowcases. There's the iron again. Uh, on the bed, you do have six pillows, by the way. And I've just washed the sheets and reset them this morning. Um, washer dryer is in great order. You've got some chairs to take to the beach, a little storage bin up there if you'd like. And in here, you have your closet. And there's that locked drawer I told you about that has that blue taped key. And all of these roll out. So that's convenient for getting your shoes and stuff better in the back. Et voila. We carry on. We have a pocket door, of course, right here. In the bathroom, uh, you've got a coral piece of work, artwork right there. Lots of shelving above. Some soap on the countertop. Lots of cleaning supplies. So please, you know, utilize them. Uh, extra toilet paper. I've got extra rolls of uh, paper towels. Uh, got a first aid kit. Got soap for the laundry and fresheners for the dryer. There you go. Make yourself at home. And um, there we go. In the shower, you have a shower wand, rain shower head. I left you some soaps in here as well. Uh, Okay. All right, is that it? I believe that's it for our walking tour today. Um, yeah, I think that's it. If you have any questions, let us know. Just give us a call. We look forward to meeting you.